your company's Facebook campaign to the next level, then a custom branded tab for your fan page is what you seek. If you don't have a fan page created for your business, check out our last podcast where we show you how to get your business on Facebook. Before I show you how to create a custom tab for your company's Facebook fan page, here's a word from our sponsor. This podcast is once again sponsored by yours truly, no pun intended. No Pun Intended is a professional graphic design studio that designs creatives for online, offline, and all points in between. Logos, website, e-blast, Facebook, custom WordPress, content management system, banner ad, search engine optimization, brochure design, business indoor and outdoor marketing, product graph sheets, stationary packages. Visit nopun.com, see what we've done for others, then let's see what we can do for you. Now, back to creating a custom tab for your fan page. Let's, let's first take a look at what the big guys are doing and see if some of their ideas can't help your business grow. Coca-Cola showcases photographs and videos submitted by customers showcasing the funner side of Coke. While Red Bull ran a scavenger hunt that created a cult following within their customers. Pizza Hut promotes their iPhone application along with special deals. While Macy's asks fans for feedback on products as an informal focus group. Now then, once you have an idea of what you would like to do, then it's time to design. You can use Photoshop or Fireworks, but I prefer to use Illustrator to create the designs. Keep the design no wider than 760 pixels wide, and remember that the most important element should be above the fold. Import a JPEG of the final design into Fireworks, so you can begin to lay out each element with squares. Name these squares something descriptive, all as one word. Then export the Firework file as CSS and Images. This will give you all of the HTML and CSS code needed to create a Web 2.0 W3Org compliant design to use for your fan page. Now, break up each graphical element as individual images. JPEGs for photos and gradients, GIFs for line art and logos. For fast loading, keep all typography as HTML text styled with CSS. Facebook makes a lot of things easy, but a custom tab, not so much. There's some cleaning that you'll need to do to your HTML before you can add it to your Facebook fan page. The HTML and body tags are already rendered by Facebook, so these tags and, well, all code should be deleted except for the code exported from the fireworks file, along with the header tags. The header tags is where you're going to uh, copy and paste all of the CSS code needed for the page. Then make sure all the links to your um, images are converted from relative to absolute paths. Finally, you need to Google FBML and install this application to your fan page. You'll in- your install is successful when your application is on your dashboard, kind of like this. This is the application that allows you to add your custom HTML code to your Facebook fan page. Simply click edit, then copy and paste the code. The box title will be the name of the custom tab once it's published. Add the page and you are D-U-N done. Now you have a custom branded Facebook fan page. Boy, that's a lot to say. That is sure to leave a lasting impression on your visitors. Now, go and tell the world about your fan page, and I hope you attract thousands of fans that become valuable customers. Customers you would have missed by not having this effective Facebook campaign to begin with. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast and found it to be a reliable resource of creating a custom branded app for your Facebook fan page. I invite you to share your experiences with having your business on Facebook. 
share their experiences either on our Facebook fan page or at nopon.com at our blog. If you have any questions or would like to request a topic, email me at noel at nopun.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to, so you can be alerted for when our next podcast is available. And of course, remember this podcast is brought to you by No Pun Intended, professional graphic design studio. Visit nopun.com to get your next project started today. Thank you.